Knowledge Bomb episode 447. Boom! What's up? All right, today we're going to go over dumbbell pullover. I would say this is probably the third time I've talked about this, but once again, we're doing them again a lot in the Get Stacked plan. We got a lot of new, got a lot of youngsters coming in, a lot of athletes. I want to make sure I teach the dumbbell pullover so you don't hurt your shoulder. This exercise, we're going to head back over here, AG. This exercise is one that has been forgotten. This is one of the ones that Arnold wanted to talk about the most when I first started hanging out with him. And it's because people have done it wrong for so long that they got scared of it. Now I'm going to show you from the side because the cross bench dumbbell pullover is the way, not the one where you lay the regular way on the bench. Now, here's some of the things that people fuck up. Number one, they got themselves in the wrong spot of the bench. See how I'm hung off the bench right here? Shoulders aren't supported. My head got nowhere to go. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm probably gonna fall off the bench. Number two, this is not a skull crusher. So don't go here and then here. That's not working the muscle. What we're trying to do is work from your elbow down to the bottom of your lat. To achieve that, you wanna get your shoulders supported, you wanna get your head down, and you wanna be looking at the dumbbell as it's coming through with your hips as low as possible. See how I created that stretch as soon as my hips? And what that did was open up all of this right here in that rib cage and into that armpit. Then in one motion, it's gonna come up over. So I'm gonna go stretch, elbows tight. Here's where the problem is. Most people open their elbows up, they keep their arms too straight, they never get a stretch because their hips are up too. So these are all things people do wrong all the fucking time. So hips down, elbows slightly bent, head in a good position. Good stretch, one motion, not a broken motion. What you gotta think of is you wanna be like, thinking about like your the old machine the Nautilus machine actually from the 70s that Arnold and them used to do they did mostly dumbbells but I uh, forget the fucking guy's name from Nautilus but his machine you actually would grab it and sit in it and pull it over like this it was a pretty sick pump actually so then it basically just taught you to do that same motion so make sure and hit all of those points but this is why people quit doing this exercise it's because they kept fucking it up now when we came to we come to the, the cable pullover, you can use the rope, but I'm gonna switch to a regular bar because it's a little bit hard to teach with the rope. That you want to have similar type motion is the one I was showing you there. Same type of points, but even we were teaching this in the gym a little earlier to a couple of the guys. It's easier to mess up. So you want to be for kind of probably like two steps back from the cable and the way that i always teach it is like i'm trying to cover up over and like pull it through so i'll take a couple steps back i'll get a stretch i'm going to be about chin to eye level it doesn't put any stress on the shoulder i'm going to be kind of elbows a little bit bent and i'm going to cover it over and take it straight to my hips so right here is where the engagement of that of that lat it's almost like all up in your armpit all up in here and that's what you're trying to force down. Boom, just like that. So that's regular pullover, cable pullover 101. And this is Nodge Mom episode 447.